Hey everyone! So today we're taking a look at another Godzilla vs Kong figure and I I kind of decided to go and get the Battle Axe Kong. I, I might have um, said uh, in the first video where I did the Kong with fighter jet that I probably won't be getting this one because like they're pretty much the same except for the facial expression on this one and the battle axe but I ended I ended up getting it anyway because I thought if I if I can get as many of these uh, different characters uh, as I as I can find I might as well and I actually, I actually really like these figures. Uh, so like, they actually uh, turned out to be better than I had uh, originally thought. So here we are today with another con, and yeah, I don't think I don't think I really need to go over the packaging too much. It's the same as the previous con. Packaging is the same with all the figures, but like this is the same as the other Kong. It just has the different expression on the face. The back of it's the same. It just has a different figure in the picture. I'm pretty sure we all, we always get the the movie set up backstory thing and I'm pretty sure this thing is gonna be the same as with the other figure of Kong that we got so as usual if you want to read this you can pause the video now and do so and other than that still the only one that I haven't seen in the shops is the Godzilla with the radio tower so that's right now that's the only one that I'm missing because we've we've seen this figure we've seen that that and that and now this guy so yeah yeah it's just the it's just the radio tower Godzilla that we're missing kind of annoying wouldn't mind having that one uh, mostly because we're right right now with it with this figure i have i have uh how many are there there's five six figures so i have all five figures i'm missing one figure from this first wave i guess this is like the first wave i don't know if there's gonna be any more releases so, some some of you said in the comments uh, there's uh, there's gonna be some more so hopefully uh, we're gonna see some more figures which would be quite cool wouldn't mind getting some more uh, you know the villain figures like I don't know if the if the skull crawler if that's just gonna be an ordinary skull skull crawler or a big skull crawler in the movie, but those would be quite cool to do to collect a couple of them. Excuse me. Collect a couple of these to build like a army of them. That would be quite cool. And this thing, I don't know if there's only going to be like one of those in the movie or if there's going to be a bunch of them. But we do know there's only one Kong and one Godzilla. Well, unless they reveal more of them uh, in, in the movie, I doubt it. But never know. So... Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to take this figure out. Um, yeah, the 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 bits that are supposed to be around his wrist, yeah, they weren't they weren't actually around his wrist, so his wrists aren't tied down. <laughs> yeah, 
We've got a need to cut that. There we go. You stay, stay. So we have the bowel damage right here on the shoulder with the piece of flesh to cover it up. So we're just going to do that. You basically just just push it into the shoulder until it's nice and snug in there so yeah that's fine we took a closer look at the figure in a moment because we also have his battle axe Which kind of feels like it should be painted like bone, maybe. Who knows? And then when you have this uh, <laughs> this blue, it kind of looks like a blue flame, but it also looks uh, like uh, Godzilla's uh, spike on from his spine. So maybe maybe the fight doesn't go in Godzilla's favor. Hmm. Funny. Um and should be able to hold it. Yeah. The hands are softer, so should be able to there we go there we go and he can uh, hold the axe pretty well it's not gonna it's not gonna fall if you if if you if he holds it like in not the best places like this isn't the best place to hold it. It's gonna it's gonna wobble. It's not gonna fall out of his hand, but it's gonna wobble. If you if you push it down a little bit, so he's holding it like there, it doesn't really wobble as much. It feels like he has a better grip on it. So yeah. Yeah, me me mess with him now. <laughs> um, articulation is exactly the same as the other King Kong. So, like I, like I said, this is basically the exact same figure. But it has the... <laughs> it has the screaming face expression. I guess it's kind of appropriate with this one because I'm guessing he's going to be like flying and uh, jumping across uh, uh, to swing the axe at someone, something. <laughs> be weird if he actually uses the, the axe against the Godzilla. It's like, yeah, I kind of ripped your uh, spike off and now I'm going to beat you with it. <laughs> so 
yeah well we'll have to see how that how that uh, plays out in the movie right now we can well if we had godzilla here right now we could you know smack him with it right now but it might not go as well in the movie so we'll we'll just have to wait and see um but yeah i really do like the king kong figure though it's really good detailing again though they didn't really put any of the black wash on it on the back of the figure like on the arms or the legs or the back like you've got to be fair not not really anything on the stomach on the front of the body either but the arms and the legs you know, have this like dirt dirty fur black wash or wherever this is i don't know it kind of feels like uh he's been fighting and you know maybe it gets a bit dirty hopefully hopefully he doesn't get set on fire like in uh, skull skull island um but yeah like it looks quite cool like that they have this uh darker wash but it would have been cool if they had a had a little bit of it on on his stomach on the fur and his shoulders and his back and just the back of the figure in general would have been cool if it had uh, some of the dark wash over it um and it kind of feels like uh i mean yeah it's kind of a rubbery plastic but i feel like on this figure uh this thing stands out a lot more than the other kong oh it could just be me but it does slightly stand out um yeah also one of the reasons I wasn't sure if I was going to get this figure, as I mentioned, I think, with the first Kong figure, on the pictures, he kind of looked uh, like a lighter color, like the fur and all, and all this. It kind of looked like a lighter gray. It doesn't actually look like that in person, though. Like, it looks... I don't know if it's exactly the same as the other Kong there might be like I don't know I actually I, I actually don't have the other Kong with here with me right now so I can't compare them side by side but I think I think it's pretty much the same as the other Kong like it looks the same from what I remember with the first uh, Kong figure we we done. Um, so that that's good. Like that's one of the things that kind of made me not really want to get this one because it looked like on the pictures it looked like he was kind of gray. Where did we put? There we go. Yeah, like, if you look at the, the picture, and that picture, they don't really look the same on the pictures, but then he doesn't look the same in person as he does on the picture. Like, yeah, they did, they did something wrong with the with the picture maybe maybe too much lighting in the photoshop or whatever they used for these pictures because yeah because it, it kind of looks like he has a gray beard on the picture but in person 
it's more of a like a grayish dark grayish uh, brown which would make sense uh, because in Skull Island he was brown his fur and I guess Kong vs Godzilla vs Kong is supposed to be in 2020 and Skull Island was in 70s so I guess that's like ar around 40 years later or something like that so yeah he's, he's, st he's still he still ages yeah, so so maybe maybe his fur wouldn't be as uh, bright brown as it was in Skull Island, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> let, let, let's, let's just go with something like that. But I'm, I'm, I'm also just glad that it doesn't look exactly as it does on the image. Because like this way, like... If you were to do like a stop motion uh, animation video where you have the fighter jet Kong like in front of Godzilla and then quickly sw switch them out so that he's scre uh, screaming, shouting, growling, whatever it is he does uh, at Godzilla, you wouldn't really notice the difference between them. So it's good. I do really like this. He still has the scars on his chest. Forgot to mention that. But I'm sure you can see that. Hopefully. I Hopefully I didn't um, get it in the way too much. Excuse me. So hopefully... Hopefully that was actually visible on, on the video. Um, but yeah. Yeah, he still has his monkey paws, monkey feet. Um, but yeah, articulation. I don't really think I need to go over. You know, like I said, it's it's exactly the same figure. Still has the twisty wrists and elbows. So yeah. It's only a shame we, uh, you can't get him uh, to uh, hit his chest. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, video. So, you know, if we get that out of the way. So, yeah. As always, uh, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up uh, uh, below and any comments, leave them also below. And yeah, hope you hope you enjoyed and yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you.